Hi everyone, welcome back to the React JS video tutorial and in this video we will learn about the pure components. So these are some points that we are going to cover. So first of all we will see that what are the pure components, why we have to use it, we will make an example and test it and compare it with the pure component and the normal component also. So for the what are the pure components for that I am just going to take you on my official uh, on React official website. Here you can see that pure components are similar to the react component that means they both are similar the difference between them is that react component does not implement should component update all right and react but pure component implement it with the shallow props and the state comparison that means uh, let's say you have an state in your component with the x and its value is 10 and after the just we want to update it on a function or on a button click after the updating the updated value is also same when you just update it the updated value is also 10 in this case react pure component will not re-render this component uh, this render but normal component will re-render it again and again all right so let's see an example so for example first of all i am just going to take a constructor and here this dot state uh, state have value like data is 10 and let's call a super with it and in this case i have a button also and on a button click I will update this state again and again update state and let's make one click on click will call a state like this this dot set state and in this set state we will set data is again 10 all right so whenever we are just hitting this button the render function will be re-render automatically all right let's see how you can see that this console which is inside the render will coming again and again and again all right that how we can stop it because this is uh, harming the efficiency of our project and it will re-render again and again even the value is same so to resolve this problem we can use the pure component right so whenever i am just going to use the pure component and trying to update it it will not going to update here right so it will work if we just write here this dot state dot data plus one then it will show uh, it will update uh, every time because our state have the different value from the previous value all right okay so that's why we basically use the pure component and we got we uh, usually just implement the f all of steps so first of all we will see pure component we know that why we have to use it and we test it and we example it so one more example that why we use this component because sometime our component will update the values but these values are uh, similar to the previous value also so it will just harm the uh, robustness and the speed of our project that's why we use we can use the pure component also so thanks for watching this video you can just share your opinion question query demanded video on the comment box thanks for watching this video